In recent times, you may have noticed a quite peculiar trend popping up on sites like TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and YouTube. This image and thousands of redraws of it have absolutely flooded the internet and the ship known as Mortar Twy has increased in popularity to a ridiculous degree. But where exactly did Mortar Twy come from? Why was it created and why has it become one of the most viral memes of 2021? Let's find out. Before we get into things, I'd just like to give a huge thank you to Boksu for sponsoring this video. Boksu is a monthly subscription box that brings the flavors of Japan straight to your doorstep. With an amazing selection of candy, snacks, and teas that changes theme every month, Boksu takes you on a fun and delicious trip through Japan. Sake candy, dondon yaki, white strawberry, mochi, mochi in puff form, uni rice crackers. I'm not gonna lie, this all looks so good. One of my favorite things about Boksu is that they work with local and family business to bring you authentic snacks crafted with love and shipped straight from Japan. Honestly, everything was really delicious. I didn't expect to like the mochi as much as I did, but it was so delicious and sweet and I'm not gonna lie, I dropped it on the floor and ate it anyway because it was just that good. Honestly, the rice cakes were delicious as well. I was kind of expecting to like the sweet things quite a lot more, but the savory things like the, uh, the sesame cake and the rice cake, Mmm, delicious. Loved them. If you want delicious, authentic Japanese snacks by artisanal creators every month, you can get 10% off your own Boxu subscription by using the link in the description and my code izzy10. That's a saving of up to $47, so you really don't want to miss out on this. I mean, you don't want to miss out in general because the snacks are delicious. Thank you so much to Boxu for sponsoring this video, and now let's get on with the story of Mortatwai. For the uninformed, shipping is when people pair two fictional characters together in a romantic relationship. Some couples are already together in the source material, while other ships are just fan interpretations and headcanons. The origins of shipping and fandoms can be traced all the way back to the late 60s, with one of the first widely recognized fandom ships being that of Kirk and Spock from Star Trek. They were known as Spurk because, well, the alternate name is, uh unfortunate. The actual term shipping wouldn't come about until the late 90s with X-Files fans who wanted Mulder and Scully to be in a relationship. They called themselves relationshippers which was eventually shortened to R shippers and then just shippers. Since then shipping has come a long way, it's a huge part of basically every single fandom and if there are two characters they've probably been shipped together. Enter crossover ships. While most ships are between two characters from the same franchise because they're in the same universe and have probably interacted before, crossover ships pair characters from completely different franchises. Crossover ships are also known as crack pairings because of their inherent silliness and unbelievability due to the fact that logically there's just no way these characters could ever actually interact with each other. Nevertheless, some characters just seem like they were made to be together even though they are quite literally from two separate worlds. Take for example Daenerys Targaryen x Loki, also known as Frost Dragons, Pennywise x the Babadook, Rainbow Dash x Sonic, and of course Rise of the Brave Tangled Dragons which is totally getting its own video. The point is, if they exist, they've been shipped together, which brings us to Mordetwai. Mordetwai is a ship that consists of Mordecai from Regular Show and Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony. The origins of this ship go back to 2011 and originated on the website DeviantArt. Back in those days, DeviantArt was used way more heavily as a sort of art and fandom space, with fandom activity taking place within groups. These groups could be for fans of shows and movies in general, or in this case, for specific ships. The Mordetwai fan group was created in October of 2011 by a user called Cartoons Lover 16, a regular romance of magic. The group, as of publishing this video, has over 4,500 members, a very impressive number for a DeviantArt fan group. In this group, fans would post artwork, fan fiction, and of course stamps and buttons because this was 2011 DeviantArt. But how exactly did this huge group come to be? I mean, huge fandoms for obscure crossover ships don't just pop up magically overnight. Well, the group was formed after Cartoons Lover 16, also known as Abigail. Gail wrote a crossover fanfiction called Earthworm Zim, which she posted to DeviantArt. The fanfiction spanned over 37 chapters and multiple parts, and contained a huge number of characters from different franchises. Fanboy and Chum Chum, Codename Kids Next Door, Family Guy, Kick Batowski, Fish Hooks, Invader Zim, My Little Pony, My Gym Partner is a Monkey, Chowder, Regular Show, and plenty more. It was truly a crossover for the ages, and despite how many characters and franchises were involved, it was generally praised by its readers. What caught people's eye, though, 
though, more than anything else, was the romantic subplot between Mordecai and Twilight Sparkle. In Chapter 14, Part 1 of Earthworm Zim, Twilight Sparkle was in love with Almighty Tallest Red from Invader Zim, but tragically had her heart broken when the alien chose the author's family guy OC, LOL, as his lover. This is when our fateful meeting occurs. Twilight couldn't hold it in anymore, and she placed her face in her hooves and sobbed quietly to herself. The tears poured down her hooves onto the neatly cut grass, creating a tiny puddle of her sadness. She just cried out whatever was left of her heart. She cried for losing Red. She cried for ever thinking Red would love her. She cried for ever thinking love would even come her way, especially from someone of a different species and from another world. Suddenly, she felt a soft, feathery touch on her shoulder. You okay? asked a gentle voice. Sniffing, Twilight looked to see a blue feathered hand clasped gently on her shoulder. Following the arm, she turned and found herself looking at a familiar tall blue jay whom gazed at her with so much concern. Despite her recent crying and ever going sadness and heartbreak, the pony managed to smile as she gazed at her now recognized friend. Hi Mordecai. From there, Mordecai and Twilight's love blossomed, creating the ship of Mordetwai. The ship became quite popular among readers, even though the creator kind of admits that it was just added as filler to the main story. Quote, Mordetwai was just a background filler, or as I sometimes called these scenes, significant spotlight stealing. I just wanted to bring regular show into the multi-cross of a fanfic in another attempt for readers to see the other shows added like Fish Hooks, Fanboy and Chum Chum, and even Kids Next Door. This is where our DeviantArt group comes in. Interestingly, Abigail actually wasn't the creator of this group, it was a separate group of fans who made it, though she was rightfully promoted to the founder of the group since she created the ship. I got to talk with her about the fanfiction and the creation of Mordecai where she wrote, quote, It was supposed to be a one-sided crush on Mordecai's part that wasn't fully explored until Chaotic Order, the fanfic after Earthworm Zim. I guess I just wanted Twilight to hang out with someone outside of Equestria and someone who was as level-headed as her, but still somewhat an opposite. That and I was getting really sick of Mordecai getting his heart broken by Margaret every single time. I think out of all the parts in Earthworm Zim, especially the Gala and Almighty Smallest arcs, it was Twilight hanging out with Mordecai and his crew that I enjoyed writing the most. On the topic of the Deviant Art group, which was steadily gaining attention, she wrote, quote, I didn't expect the ship to go this far, especially 10 years later, but it's got a group, a following, and some other cool recognition. I will admit in the earlier years I really tried to get get MLP and RS fans together to join the group. I would work countless hours personally messaging every person who has added my fan art to their favourites. It was a lot more misses than hits and a lot of people were not very nice about the whole ship thing back then. We've talked before about how heated shipping can get and while nowadays crossover ships are seen mainly as kind of fun, goofy and lighthearted, back in the day they were under heavy scrutiny due to how unrealistic they were. Abigail wrote that she and other Mordetwai artists got a lot of comments from DeviantArt users scorning them for shipping something so unrealistic and silly, with some even creating parody fanfics to mock her. Honestly, DeviantArt back in the day could be a pretty ruthless place, with some users garnering huge hate mobs, and this demotivating hatred made Abigail step away from Mordetwai as a ship. Quote, the most common hate I received had to be when somebody goes into a long tirade about how this doesn't make sense and how good art is being done poorly. I won't lie, today I still get hate. Not for Mordetwai, but for my existence. But back then when Mordetwai was really active, I guess not getting the feedback and attention I hoped for, because back then I just wanted to be a part of something and feel important, made me put the ship on a bus and try other things that were a little more better. Despite the founder gradually stepping away from Mordetwai over time, the ship still gained a dedicated but small group of artists and fanfiction writers who would contribute to it. Looking on AO3, there are at least 20 fanfictions and way more on Wattpad, though the majority of those ones are just ship posts made in recent years. One one of the earliest records of the ship outside of the DeviantArt group is a video from September of 2012 called MLP X Sonic Shipping and Mordetwai. Cascader remix. This video compiles a bunch of Mordetwai ship art from the time. This was posted only a month before the infamous airplane ship art was created, an image that would lie dormant for nearly a decade before resurfacing as a viral meme. On August 5th of 2012, around a year or so after the DeviantArt group was established, a user called BlueDog444 posted this digital illustration of Mordecai and Twilight. In the image, the characters are both tearfully singing the 2010 hit song Airplanes by B.O.B. and Hayley Williams. Though this image went relatively unnoticed at first, it began picking up as a meme and now has over 100,000 views and 1,000 comments. I can't confirm this because both Twitter and Tumblr's search functions are completely broken, but like, I swear that this meme was 
was passed around before 2020, like maybe 2017 to 2018, kind of on a smaller scale on like Tumblr maybe. The closest thing I can liken it to is that anime George Washington drawing that gets passed around every few years. Like I said though, I can't fully confirm this, I'm kind of just remembering it that way, so I might just be imagining it. What we do know is that this image began picking up traction in early 2020 with one of the earliest popular meme posts being a YouTube video simply titled, Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars set to an emo cover of the song by a TikToker called Apple Crumb Will. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? From there, the meme only grew in popularity, being reposted thousands of times across Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and YouTube. What started as a few people poking fun at a nine-year-old's piece of crossover fan art quickly spiraled into one of the most viral internet trends of 2021, absolutely flooding the internet. The comment section of Airplanes is absolutely filled with references to Mortatwai, as are the comments on the original artist page, and hashtag Mortatwai was trending on Twitter for a solid few days. The hashtag redraw Mortatwai also took off with thousands of artists redrawing the infamous image, including some really popular and well-known artists. Honestly, with all of the Mortatwai artworks posted combined, I think that the likes would be up in the millions at this point. Of course, this art was also turned into memes, for example, someone threw Spongebob into the mix to transform Mortatwai into a love triangle, while others added the unlikely pair into other meme formats. There was even an official flag made for the ship and a Friday Night Funkin' mod which has generated thousands of likes. But the fanfare didn't stop there. The trend took off on TikTok with multiple videos gaining views in the millions, including but not limited to this very emo redraw by, I want to say, Asphode, Asphode, I'm really sorry if I mispronounced that, and this face paint nightmare by Re.Roman. Someone even got a tattoo of Mortatwai. The trend has also taken off within the YouTube animation community with new Mortatwai animations coming out daily. With how painstaking animation can be, I really feel like how many animations there are for this ship kind of show how massive it's become. Believe it or not, this Mortatwai why animation by Chicky was retweeted by Haley Williams from Paramore herself. In a tweet where the user just blatantly stole and reposted Chicky's animation, they wrote, Actually, maybe it's good that Haley ain't here to see this. In response, Haley added, I don't get it, guys. Obviously, her retweet went viral. Despite Haley's understandably baffled response, the Mortar Twice ship is still going strong to this day with thousands of pieces of artwork, animation, and fan fiction. As for how the original artist feels about it, well, he originally went by Blue Dog 444 but now goes by Joey and currently has a fairly low profile online. He's made comments about the original artwork on Twitter before and has started doing more to twice style commissions, so it seems that despite the attention it's getting, he's kind of embracing the meme. I highly recommend checking out his Ko-Fi where you can get a commission or just donate a couple bucks. He's also done interviews here and there, including one for Insider.com. BlueDog444, now 18-year-old Joey, told Insider that he had stumbled across Mortar Twy on DeviantArt as a child and simply wanted the people in the Mortar Twy DeviantArt group to think he was cool so he drew it. It's really fascinating to see how much hatred and mockery the ship has gained over the years when in reality neither the artist or the author who created it really ever cared about it that much. I can imagine how hard it would be for something that you created as like a nine year old to be picked up and widely mocked online but thankfully it seems like all parties have kind of come to embrace it. Through the resurgence of Mortatwai many people have come to genuinely love and appreciate the ship and all of the art and memes created for it and this is reflected in the creator's feelings. Abigail wrote, quote, I'm just really shocked and really flattered with how much it blew up, and I'm happy to no longer be ashamed of something I created. Despite how toxic and negative people have been towards both Joey and Abigail, ultimately they were the ones who brought this trend to life, so we all have a lot to be thankful for. Who knows exactly how long the meme will be around for, as trends tend to explode in popularity and then fizzle out within the span of mere weeks, but for now it's nice to know that such a random and unexpected ship has become so well loved by many people. Even though Mortatwai will eventually become a distant memory, we must always remember how it united the internet for a few short weeks. Long live Mortatwai. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed that topic. It's actually crazy, one of my patrons um, sent me a message saying that you should cover this, like way before the Mortatwai thing blew up. Like it was like a week after they sent that that it started becoming massive and I was like, whoa, like it was such a random coincidence. But anyway, um, <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. I enjoyed talking about it. Um, love the ship. I ship it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Boxu for sponsoring it. Genuinely, definitely check them out. The stuff is delicious and they're really cool. So uh, yeah, check them out. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one.
Bye. Thank you so much to my Garfield overlords over on Patreon. Xavier Araujo, X17chan, Ben Perk Misfit, Tyson, The Furby Librarian, Sophie Skidder, Simon, SHSL Sunsun, Sheriff Whiskey, Red Meth, Pom, Moth Them, Missy Pendragon, Lady Cerebellum, Kendall Pachalik, Jordan Nielsen, John o Charles Davey, John Leach, Joe Bradshaw, Jesse Chisholm, Helm Hamburger Hand, Gyro Over Troubled Water, Grip Gunderson, Finley, Kerbicon, Dozo Blint, Dana Home Gardener, Charlie B, Brianna Robinson, Boysenberry Switchblade, Astrium Vortex, Arcantilus, and Agarafin. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. As always, it means the world to me. If you want to join these guys over on Patreon, the link will be in the description. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!